Hey buddy, Dwardo F here today. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will always know when I post a new video. Of course, if you like this video, make sure to say so by hitting the like button. I hear YouTube just made an upgrade. Apparently, if you hit the like button, you will hear a ding. Test it out and tell me what you think in the comment section below. Furthermore, if you have any questions, complaints, comments, or suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Today I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite school supplies and recommending the ones I find most reliable. I'm going to be mentioning a lot of products in this video, so if you would like to buy any of the things I'm mentioning, check the description box where I have them all listed. Lastly, I'm not trying to imply my social status or show off or brag in any way with this video, so please don't take it that way. Also, this is a two-part video, and this is only part one. Now, without further ado, let's get started. So the first school supply must-have that I'm going to be showing you today is the Home Cube pencil case. I have had the Home Cube pencil case since January, and I love using it because it has so much storage in it. So, example number one of storage is this cute zip-up pocket that you can store post-it tabs, erasers, lead in. I also have this Velcro pocket that I put lead and extra erasers in. Then, over here, we have a cute little organizer for erasers. We also have these little holes that you can put your pencils in, which I find really handy, and I could just open up my pencil case, grab a pencil, and I'll, I'll be ready for class. And then you can lift that up, and you have tons of storage space for pens and pencils or highlighters or anything else that you have that you would like to keep in your pencil case. And there you have it, that's my home cube. My next must-have school supply is Paper Made Clear Point Pencils. I like using Paper Made Clear Point Pencils because they are so, so easy to use. To get more lead, all you have to do is press a button which is conveniently located on the side of the pencil for an easy reach. I also like the erasers on Paper Made Clear Points because they are easily refillable and very replaceable. Whoa. Another reason I like using Paper Made Clear Point pencils is that they are comfortable. The grip is soft to touch, and the pencils don't hurt your hands like some others do. Also, Paper Made Clear Points are very stylish. They come in many different colors, and you can mix and match different tops and bottoms to your liking. Another reason why I like Paper Made Clear Point pencils is that they are very portable. You could take them on the go, and they don't take up too much space. This leads me to my next reason. Paper weight clear points stand out in a crowded backpack or pencil case, so if you happen to need a pencil at any given time, you can reach into your pencil holder and easily grab a pencil. My next must-have school supply is erasable pens. I got a pack of Friction Highlight erasable pens about a year and a half ago, and so far, they aren't even close to running out of ink. They are so easy to use, with a clicker on the side that is conveniently placed so that your finger can slide it up and down. Now, I have tried out many erasable pens, and none of them have worked. Anyway, I was a little hesitant to buy these bad boys because of my prior experience with erasable pens. But when I looked at the reviews, I was sold. With no bad reviews, these pens were a no-brainer for me. I quickly bought them and was excited to try them out. I'm a very picky person, and I often end up messing up cursive or calligraphic handwriting. So when I learned of these magical pens that I could erase with when doing fancy script, I was elated. When they came in the mail, the first thing I did was try them out. They were perfect. Anyway, you can buy a rainbow pack, like I did, or pick and choose the ones that you want. But these are definitely a must-have for me. Here, let me show you what they look like. I have a green one, and I'm just going to scribble around a little. Next, I'm going to take my eraser. And just get that all off. And it's gone. Look, no more writing. Let's try out a more bright color, like red. Start erasing. And it's gone. Ba bam. That's why I bought these. Now my next school supply must have is this post-it pen with a highlighter. Now I love this post-it pen because it's a three-in-one. 
I can be looking at a research paper, and I can jot notes on the side with the pen, highlight the paper with the highlighter, and flag important parts of the paper with these tabs. Definitely a must-have for me because it has everything I need when doing schoolwork. Another one of my school supplies of must-haves is this high polymer Pentel eraser. Now, I have been getting high polymer erasers since, I don't know, second grade. These things are genius. They erase anything you need, and they never let you down. Here, let me show you something. So I have a post-it note, and I have my pencil. I'm just going to scribble on it. Uh, dark handwriting, as you can see. Now I'm going to take my high polymer eraser and erase. I'm telling you, it's disappearing. Like I can't, I can't even tell that it was there. And there you have it. See, it's totally gone. That's why my high polymer pencil eraser is definitely a school supplies must have. Next on my list of school supplies must-haves are post-it note dispensers. I got my first post-it note dispenser back in fourth grade, and they save so much time. My teacher will ask me if I can give her a post-it, and bam, I reach for one and give it to her. These post-it note dispensers save hours of time that would have been spent looking for post-it notes. They're cute, easy, and stylish. And you can get post-it note dispensers that are shaped like everyday objects. I even saw one that was a high heel. Cool, right? Definitely on my list of school supplies must-haves. In conclusion, I would like to thank everybody for watching this video. I had so much fun making it and showing you all my favorite school supplies. Like I said before, if you would like to purchase any, and I mean any of the school supplies mentioned in this video, check the description box where they are all listed. Make sure to subscribe to my channel down below and hit the notification bell so that you will always know when I post. Also, we are so close to 20 subscribers and it would be great if we could get there with this video. So make sure to subscribe and hit the like button to see if it makes a ding. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or complaints, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. There will be a part 2 of this video, so stay tuned! I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dwarda F and I'll see you next video. Bye!